Huh. Did he follow you? Oh yeah, hang on, oh, yeah. yeah. Let him have some food and then we lost track of him in a swarm of walkers. You just let him take our food? What the fuck? Well, it wasn't exactly ours, to be fair. Now he knows we're out here and he'll come back for more. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. Yeah. I made the right call. She Bullshit. did. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think I think again. she does. I, I just can't. I won't. Just not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means. Enough! Just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. Well, you can't be serious. She has a right to be concerned at least. Let's talk about this. Oh, what the hell? If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. Yeah, well, no one else will, so you you do what you like, love. I mean, I understand why she's like that, though. Obviously, Clem, what she goes through. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God. Nothing's easy. No one died. You don't have to worry. Not with her. I always do, though. Can't help it. I understand that. <laughs> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Fair enough. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and many, AJ's Minnie's coping it down again. Anything though. that happens past the safe zone. Yeah. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. Yeah. I'm That's gonna understandable. go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Yeah, that's, get that makes you. sense. Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. Being a walker is a lot worse than being dead. How do you know? Maybe being a walker is really nice. Have you seen them, dude? I doubt it. Me too. But it's not like you can go ask one. I mean, yeah. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie be playing whatever new song she wrote. Huh. I guess that doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe huh. and happy. All of us together. Oh, Looks like a nice far. place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. <laughs> Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can... can I be there? Sure. He's not shielded. You want to be there too? Like, uh, Sarah was. I promise I'll draw you well. But you just gotta hold still. Sure, why not? He is a bright side of life looker. 
He oh, always sees the bright forgot. side of everything. I like that. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. Ten's got real talent. Agreed. It's getting late. Yeah. You guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Fair enough. Good night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, he's got a positive outlook. I like that about him, to be fair. You know, he, he knows the bad stuff out there. You know, he's not like Sophie. Uh, Sophie. Uh, Sarah, where he's been shielded. For reasons you could understand when you look back on it. But he seems to have a positive outlook on a lot of things. He's very positive. He's got a very positive personality. I like that about him. Time for bed, little guy. Hmm. Can I stay up? Nope. <laughs> Two more minutes. Tell you what. You lay down, and then we'll see. Hmm. <laughs> Clem's got this stuff all figured out, isn't she? Dinner? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was. I like it here. I got to kill fish. <laughs> Violet looked like she was having a good time. Yeah, yeah. she did. Funny that he mentions nice. her. Not driving everywhere it's quite or running away. If you know what I mean. But the ranch was nice too. Before the blood. Huh. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it. Now that I'm used to it. There's games and the walls make it feel safe. I do. I really do. Yeah. It's good to feel safe somewhere. <laughs> Clem. Yeah? You let that mean man go at the station. You let him take food from us. It wasn't right. I didn't like it. Don't be mad at me for saying that, though. Him getting away with a little food kept things from getting violent. Yeah. You have to know when to fight, AJ. And this wasn't the time. It's still not right to let someone take from us. Well, we were taking from someone soft. else, to be fair. So you're so tough, huh? <laughs> Who's Mr. Softy now? <laughs> That's what I thought. There. You gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. <laughs> Clementine, like Ripley and like Claire, is someone who was born to be a mother. There, that's a good drawing. He's Ripley good with eyes. Newt, Claire with Sherry, Clementine with oh, AJ. They're women, they're women who were born to be mothers. One thing I like about this is that this is kind of like your hub world. I'm so used been. to lugging this everywhere, never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. <laughs> Yeah, I like this because it's kind of like a little hub world and when you collect things in the gameplay parts you come back here later and you can place it on the wall and stuff. I like that. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. Mm -hmm. One time, bang. Good work, and thanks. <laughs> you guys hear that? <laughs> the hell's going on? Sounds like. What's that? Shh. 
sounds like, um, is it Brody? Yeah, sounds like Brody. Hold on, I got this. Marlon, too. There's voices in the pipes. Yeah. I think someone's in trouble. Sounds like it. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. Hmm? You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. All right. Stay here. Don't do anything. Stay safe. I got this. I love Clem's jacket. Just like I said, it gives me vibes of Chris and Claire Redfield. Just seems like something they would wear. It seems like Brody's in trouble somehow. Just a little farther. Yeah, definitely this Basement. one. This locks from both sides. What? I can't pick it. I uh. have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. Okay. I have a feeling that we're not going to like what we see in there. Personally. It is windy AF. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much windy like what it is uh, where we live right now. The basement around here. Great. Let's see if we can find it. In fact, I think I might see it. Oh no, that's just a no, wrong way. Is it? Brick. Heavy. <laughs> I wonder if that's a collectible. That'd be hilarious. If anything, it's probably in like. The foliage. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's Marlon and Brody probably continuing from earlier, isn't it? Wait. Clem, I don't want to do this. They're going to hear that and run. What's up, nerds? Busted that shit. Can't tell me they totally ignored that, right? You can't. You cannot tell me they totally ignored it. Told it. Clem! What are you Great. doing down here in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You woke me up. Deserve some shut eye. You'd had a busy day. 
I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So sorry about that. I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. You want to tell me what's going on? It really seems like business. they have history with that able Go back to the door. guy and his possible group. Maybe. The man you met at the station. We got history. Brody. Figured. Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. Marlon, you can tell she me. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. Marlon, you might as well what tell history? them. You can tell her. Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. One. Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! So Minnie's alive. Because Marlon was so ashamed of what- Oh my god, dude! What are you- hmm. Well, she's gone. You fucking idiot. Shit, what have you done? So, 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 so. Me, okay. I, I promise. God damn it, hell! I told you not to say it! Please be okay. You, you hit her too hard. She's not gonna make it. Shut up! Come on, Brody, we can fix this. Please, we're gonna be okay. I think she's gone, just, dude. Just stay with her. There, there, there's a first aid kit down here somewhere. You I, hit her head! First aid kit? <sighs> it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Come on, girl, hang in there. Who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Her eyes Clementine, gone. Clementine, remember? We talked about going to the beach, swimming, driving along the coast. Son. Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What? What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. Move. You're a good person, Clem. She I would have liked to get to know you better. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let them take you. Take us? Ah. To make him go away. Like he did. <laughs> like he did with ten sisters. Yeah. <laughs> Brody. <laughs> yeah. You bloody idiot. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. What the hell am I gonna do? You gotta tell him, dude. She's gonna turn. See? Marlin! Oh, God. Marlin, you son of a bitch! Don't do this! I'm sorry. Yeah, he's being very cowardly right now, yeah. Uh, I can Marlin! see what they mean. Anyone! God damn it. AJ! Hey, Jake, is If I could find something really thin, I could force it in there and lift up the latch. <sighs> so Marlon's an idiot. He's he, he's a guy that Marlin, runs from his starving. problems and just takes the easy or takes the easy way out, you know what I mean? He's a guy who takes the easy way out. And he gave he gave up Minnie and Sophie, and that's gonna really piss V off because, yeah, she loved Minnie. She's gonna be a walker any minute. We need to find something. Where the flashlight goes it over here. She's turning already. It happens quick. We know. Yeah, Clem, you you know how it works. Oh, a ruler. Thin enough. Be prepared for jump scares. <laughs> we know what happens. Cheap jump scares, replacement for legitimate horror. This <laughs> is a game change video once said, but he will say. Spit. Oh god. Oh god. Sorry, Brody. Hold. 
go. That was a very convenient room there, by the way. What's he doing in a basement? That's a very convenient room there. Shit. That shit. Oh god, no. Get up, get up, get up. Well, we got to move, girl. We've got to move now. Shit. Go faster, go faster, shit, 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 no, get off, get off, shit, oh, god, sorry, god, oh my god, oh my god, fucking brutal. That's fucking brutal. <sighs> Shit. Damn. It's like season two with Carver all over again. I like the torture fact. I like that. It has the it's had the red from the blood reflecting into the light and making it red. I like that. That's a fact. Yeah, Telltale really went like all out on the graphics and the effects in this game. I like it. Where is she? Oh, spit! Malone, you're in trouble. She murdered Brody. What? No, that's bullshit. Is that blood on your face? Yeah. Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? Hey, Marlin! You might want to get your story straight. Clem! You killed Brody. Hey, you hit her so hard, her head split open. Yeah. That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going her on? Face, dude. Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! What about you and your face? I'm, I mean, yeah. That doesn't really help. What did you do? Oh wow, they just believe in this. Oh god, oh my lord! Okay, now I've got a bonus to give you the head. Here's a kid of saved their lives when anyone else would have kept walking. We fed them, we kept them warm, and this is how they thank us! Guns being pulled in, murder! If there, if there is a choice to tell me about Minnie, I'm taking Marlin. it. Jesus Christ! Shoot me, and what do you offer up to your raider friends when they come knocking? Yeah, what the hell is she talking about? He won't do it because he needs us yeah. alive. Yeah, yeah, true. Brody, Brody told said me that Marlin was gonna give me and AJ up to raiders in exchange for safety. Yeah, the same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie. They look at me, look at her, oh and gosh. believe her right now. Let her talk. Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her. Listen to her, V. Come the fuck on! They only met up with these raiders because Clem insisted they go out there. Quite the coincidence, isn't it? I'm shame. I don't believe in those. Think about what? how scared we all were when the adults left. Are you, ser are you seriously here. instigating that kept Clem the raider or again. a friend of the raiders? Are you fucking stupid? Who are you stupid? all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me? Red? She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders just gonna come along and take it? Follow the listen. Follow the listen. Have to believe me. Tell her about Minnie. Uh, yeah. You don't. Tell her about Minnie, Clem. Like two days ago. I don't know you, Clem. Not you really. know what happened to Minnie. I'm sorry. This isn't like you. I know you're not weak. Don't let her get in your Chimini. head. Chimini, come on, Clem. Hey, you know how to get to her. I want you to do that. It's oh god, she was my friend too. No, it's so spread. Clem, I. Oh, Vee, come on, please, girl. <laughs> Tell her, Clem. Come and on, we have a, we have ammo here. Once I pull this yeah. trigger. 
day those raiders came? He would have abandoned you too. Yeah. Come on, V, please. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Why look the difficult? Why am I had a girl? Put down the gun now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Mark. Be reasonable. We forced the Clementine Protection Squad right now. Look at this shit. Yes. It's okay, doggy. It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt him. You don't understand at all, do you? Didn't tell Files about me. I'm surprised. Oh shit. Waving a gun around. I don't like the sound of this. Protect anyone. Yeah. Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. You suck at protection. <laughs> I made the right call. Oh, I'm feeling this. This is Clementine, all right. I came back. I do it again. Excuse me. There you go. So there you go. They die. Oh yeah, ten as well. Yeah. You, okay? you gave my sisters away. And now Violet is going to hate do your guts. Like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. Yeah. He's, because he's a coward. Yeah. It's like I said, he, he I takes the easy way out. He doesn't States. want to, though, I don't Some think. Some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I was good. I was, was too afraid. I mean, yeah, you, you can understand that Raiders are. She knew. He didn't mean to. No, I don't think he did. I didn't want this. I wanted to save don't all of you. Don't go for guns. Sophie. Minerva. I didn't want to hurt them. I believe it. You can still fix this, Marlin. He's a coward, but he's not. It's going to be he's not evil. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. Yeah, Lisa Beckham. The only one any of us has left. Although, Violet is going to be difficult for him, obviously, and probably Ten as well, because, you know, you know. Well, that worked. Well, at least that worked. I'll take that. I know I betrayed you. All of you. He's only up to it as well, so. Just let me leave. You'll never have to see me again. No, we're not going to do that. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. No, I'm not gonna do that. Fine. Oh god, what? Dude! What the hell was- Oh no! 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 AJ, come on! Why? What are you doing? I aimed for the head. He wasn't a friend, you dumbass. <laughs> no. Oh no, come on, no. Oh my god, AJ, I love you, but come on, man. He was not even a friend. What are you doing? We had that handle. <laughs> God damn it! I was not expecting that to be fair. Just to let AJ through the window at the train. 56% killed the Walker couple. Huh. That's interesting. 53% of players went fishing with Violet and Brody. 47 went hunting with Lewis and the Sim. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. The reason I did that was really because if Violet and Brody were still, um, you know, not in each other's throats, but, you know, he said, uh, my mom says something about them not getting on enough to do their job, so we might to keep the peace because Clem is like that. 71% of the players convinced AJ to sleep on the bed. Yeah, it makes sense. Well, 22 players surrendered, 78 attacked Abel rather than giving him food. Oh, that's interesting, because I'm in the minority there. I can see why people would do that, but well, one time I don't know. I've never played it before, so. I even had a 
61 percent of players target violence against violence against Marlon. Yeah, because Violet would Violet would make uh Violet would listen because if Lewis was the other option, but Lewis was his friend, so he wouldn't he wouldn't listen. Whereas with Violet, she obviously has Minnie. So yeah, that made sense. I, I can see why more people went for her. One percent left violent feeling guilty. Please don't you compliment her fighting skills. Flattered after you come with the dorm room. Really? Okay. Uh oh yeah, so it's like Batman. It's like Batman where they have relationship uh things. That's interesting. So 59% left AJ Harden felt com comforted when you convinced him to sleep on the bed and was disappointed that you let Abel get away at the train station. I didn't really trust AJ, his hands were shaking. Maybe maybe he's more comfortable. Well, we don't know, because we missed a lot. The town's feeling better. It was understanding when you're hesitant to see when you first so met him. You allowed him to draw you. He generously gives you his drawing. So what is it bitter about? Did we fly? Probably about the situation. And I'm all on dead. <laughs> Relieved to be forgiven for his actions towards the twins and Brody. So proud when you trusted him with Rosie. To die. Brody felt grateful when you resolved the conflict between her and Violet. So it's cold when you downplayed the encounter with April. Yeah, that makes sense. Lewis is left feeling heartbroken. That makes sense because he's a lost his best friend. When you told him about killing a loved one, he sympathized with your pain. Makes sense. Glad you checked on him before dinner, Omar. Ruby was disgusted by AJ's bad manners. Now I'm out of You learned how to bomb with I Rosie in what with Marlon's help. Which was having to show up his weaponry skills. Asim was glad to stop AJ from reading the journal, and Lily was fascinated well, by you when you met him for the first time. Yeah, that, that whole thing with AJ wasn't my fault. And together, so Ah, oh, we missed a lot of collectibles, which is unfortunate. I didn't... I thought there'd be, like... So there must be, like, things in probably about each section, maybe? Possibly? So there must be, like, six sections and then one in each one, maybe? I was probably not very thorough there. <laughs> that sucked. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. I think... I think what I like about it is how they've change the gameplay up you know they change the gameplay up because it's a lot more interactive than just pressing a button to kill a walker now you can actually control it yourself uh which i thought was pretty cool the technical hiccups are hilarious more than game breaking because a couple of times there you saw the zombies just disappear off the screen which was i thought was quite funny uh but to be fair telltale games have been known for technical problems on console this was on the pc version which was even more odd <laughs> you know i found that really odd how zombies just disappear into the night uh, oh you can't see what you're trying to kill so you get killed i thought it was rather odd considering it's the pc version so but yeah i enjoyed it nonetheless i like how the bedroom is a little hub world you can place collectibles around it uh which is pretty nice uh, i like that uh, I think the only shame is that, of course, this is the Epic Games version means there's no achievements, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, maybe that's something they'll add later. Um, and if they do add it, I don't think they'll add it to this game because this game is... I think it finished last year. I think it finished 2019, did it finish? Uh, so it's kind of over a year old. I mean, they could still do it. They could still do that, I suppose. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, episode 2 won't be the last time we do this, thankfully. Um, and I'm happy about that. And I really enjoyed that first episode. That was awesome. That was awesome. And the all these new people, I really liked, actually. Marlon is... He takes the easy way out, but he's not a bad person. Uh, you know, not at all. Although he did kill Brody for almost no reason. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's he's not completely a dick. Uh, really. I'm, I'm concerned about this Abel. I, th I think there's going to be more with him. And obviously they have the history with them. So he's obviously part of a raider group that will now come back. Uh, which is actually quite worrying. So, 
the stuff with a what AJ just did will probably have to go on the side and have to prepare for whatever the Raiders are planning, if they are planning anything at all. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, I don't know what AJ was thinking there. I, I don't know what that was. I mean, God, he, he pulled the trigger on an unarmed person who was who gave up you know he he gave up i don't know what aj's reasoning for that was that was weird obviously clem hasn't i guess he hasn't she hasn't had that talk with him maybe uh maybe i think it was an accident but maybe it's just a detail that clem missed out so obviously uh she'll probably want to talk to him about that i don't know if actually i'm quite concerned now that that might just get kicked out and that's not a good idea if the Raiders are planning to attack because if they kick Clem out, uh, then they may be quite vulnerable because Clem, probably if she's a lot like Lee, which we think she is, and we know she is, she'll probably be the great strategy person that Lee was. Uh, and she takes a lot of what Lee says on board. She she is very Lee in what she does for AJ. Uh, so, yeah, that's um, we got to hope something uh, works out because uh, yeah we're not looking too good at the moment uh, in terms of the situation uh, but yeah I really enjoyed that episode that was a really good start really good start the technical hiccups were kind of hilarious more than anything else they weren't game breaking and all the characters are relatively nice I, I like that they're relatively nice uh, the characters so it's pretty cool Alright, so uh, you guys know what to do until the beginning of episode 2, guys. You follow, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Uh, ring the bell for video notifications and all that. And I will see you for the beginning of episode 2 of the final season of The Walking Dead Telltale Saga. And it's called Stuff of the Children, which is quite depressing. <laughs> quite a depressing title, in a way. But yeah, the story will continue. And I will see you then, of course, with Time Lady Games. So, for Time Lady Games. This is Simicast signing off until next time. Peace out, stay safe guys, and as always, stay awesome.